What's up guys, Graham here. Today we're going to talk about Pokemon Go, but we're going to talk about how people are destroying this game with cheating. It is unbelievable the amount of cheating that's going on in Pokemon Go. Whenever I'm playing it, we're going out to parks, we're going to all these different places, trying to get Pokestops, we're making special trips to town. I mean, all these things that we're doing to have fun, spend time with each other, go meet people at parks and all this stuff. Well, it turns out the other people are trying to break the system and cheat their way to the top. Now, you think that it would just be kind of, you know, this person over there figured out a, a hack to it or something, and it's not going to affect you wrong. It's affecting a lot of people, and I'm going to show you how people are using it to exploit it for profit and lots of other things. So, I didn't even know about all the cheating that was going on in Pokemon Go until I was just recently shopping for uh, the kid and trying to get a uh, birthday present at Toys R Us, and I got a, one of the things I got was a Snorlax plushie and mind you that stuff is way overpriced right now well whenever we're going through the checkout the cashier said do you play Pokemon Go I was like yeah yeah almost everybody I know is playing it well they go are you using pokevision.com and I go pokevision.com what is that I don't even know what it is they said ah, it's basically a way to cheat the game and you can actually see uh, the GPS like as in like a Google Maps kind of view and it'll show all the Pokemon that's around you and I was like man you know you almost want to do something like that but then you go wait a minute that that takes away all the the fun of the game like you know yeah you could cheat your way to the top and I mean you're always trying to get to the top but yeah that uh, that enticement is completely blown out of the water whenever you realize that it takes all the fun out of the game you're going to completely ruin it for yourself and you'll be able to get all the Pokemon get all the Pokestops or whatever you need but still uh, what fun would that be and uh, this is the site right here I'm going to go ahead and show you guys so this is just the default location this isn't my actual location but you can see that you can just pop it up here and it'll show all the Pokemon around you and you can actually hit the scan button down here as well and search for new Pokemon so if I go down here I can hit the scan and it will scan this area for more Pokemon that wasn't uh, available whenever I first brought up the site here so this is a key way of cheating the game and it really sucks that people are doing this but it gets worse trust me it gets far worse okay so let's go ahead and look at this so this was a tweet that I I got referred to it basically says this is the Pokemon Go directory on Twitch these are the people that's live streaming the game and it says all the channels marked with a red box are using a PC version of the game with a fake GPS to move around now recently I seen a video where people were uh, putting like apps on the game or uh, I guess mods of some sort and what it was doing it was putting a little joystick on the Pokemon Go uh, game so you can actually move your character around with like a, a thumb joystick control and then it also had other things like seeking a particular Pokemon it even had it to where you can actually click and it, if you live in Florida or something you can have your guy walking towards Canada and walk all the way to Canada while you're away from the phone it's just unbelievable okay so it goes uh, teleporters uh, I mean, trainers can teleport directly to the location of a Dragonite, take over gyms in countries that currently don't have the game available, and spend countless hours in Central Park, which is the best recorded place for Pokestops and Pokemon catching. Holding the gym uh, rewards you with uh, dust and Pokecoins. Basically, it's going over how this is against the terms of service, but yet it is being streamed on Twitch right now. I mean, all of these channels here are streaming on Twitch. They're getting subscriber buttons. They're getting tons of people watching them. There's even people that come into the stream and go, hey, are you actually hacking the game? Because if you're not, then I'm going to go over to somebody else that is hacking it, and it'll be much more exciting seeing them walking through Central Park and getting all these cool Pokemon and stuff. So people are actually wanting to see the hack versions of this stuff so let's go ahead and look at like a streamer right here this is just one of the guys that I was looking at and I was thinking oh my gosh this guy is cheating the system I don't know if he's going to do anything right here on the actual game while we're watching but while I was uh 
I was watching it, I seen that his character would run way up into areas, like far faster. Oh, look, he just teleported. Okay. Yep, there you go. So the guy basically just had it to where he can teleport to different areas. So somebody from China can actually be in your town and taking over your gym with their uh, level 40 character and super strong Pokemon. And you can't really do too much about it unless you can combat that Pokemon. And uh, people that are higher level are naturally going to have stronger Pokemon than you. So if they've taken over your gyms, it's going to be very hard to take it back. Now, me and the girlfriend were talking, we are thinking, man this is crazy I mean we were having so much fun with this game we were going out to parks meeting people uh, taking the kids out and doing all kinds of fun stuff playing Pokemon Go was a real exciting thing for us and now we're realizing that this this particular gym may be taken over by somebody that's you know in China or elsewhere and gonna have a super strong character and uh, People are just cheating their way to the top, getting the the strongest Pokemon that they can, leveling up their characters extremely fast. There was even somebody that posted a screenshot of their character being level 40, and Philip DeFranco posted about it, and basically that was, the I guess, the first person to hit level 40, and they straight up admitted that they used a bot in order to do it. Uh, they said that they didn't do any gym battles and stuff, but if you actually watch the live streams here and stuff, they are doing gym battles. They are fighting people with these hacked versions of the game. So the game has completely just lost a lot of its luster for me. Uh, I don't even know what to say about it. I guess, I guess you know, I can still have my fun with it, but it really sucks to know that so many other people are cheating the game and really ruining the fun of everybody else. Um, and especially if they take part in gym battles and stuff, because that's where they're they're having an effect over your character and your ability to participate and stuff like that. And like, mind you, look at the, uh, you can probably see the donations and stuff. Look at this. Uh, he's already raised 256 euros on just this live stream, I guess. So people were donating to this person to cheat on the game and do this stuff. It's unbelievable to me. I'm really outraged. Uh, it sucks so much whenever you have a game that's changing so many people's lives and making so much uh, fun and excitement to people. And people are doing stuff like this. It, it really sucks. So... Yeah, uh, if you if you guys watch Twitch streams, go to the Pokemon Go live streams and report these people that are cheating it because it is against the terms of service. And I'm hearing these people are only getting like two hour bans whenever they get busted on this. So really, there's no repercussions uh, too much right now. But maybe if they get reported enough, Twitch will do something about it. They'll take away these guys. Uh, subscriber buttons take away uh, their live streams maybe shut down their channels and stuff because whenever you're openly cheating and going against the terms of service it's not something that twitch normally endorses and you can stand up against it so yeah make sure to go to twitch report these people as usual my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time